Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you believe in feng shui? I do. At first, I was very skeptical, because I am a Christian, but now, I truly believe in its magic. God said, help yourself, and I will help you. And that's what I did. As a Christian, my belief in God, comes first, then, I combine with some feng shui cures, like lucky amulet bracelets. And other jewelries. And healing crystals. Some feng shui house ornaments. That's some hard work, and perseverance, and self-trust, I promise you. Nothing is impossible. Like others, I was also struggling with money before I started practicing Feng Shui. But before I continue, please remember to click the subscribe button below, and share this video to your friends. I always have Feng Shui tip like this one coming out on my channel. If you don't want to miss any tip, then go ahead and ring the bell to be notified each time I post. Thank you very much. Now, if you want to learn, and are interested in feng shui, please watch until the end of this video. I just want to warn those people, who don't believe in feng shui, to please don't watch my videos. You don't have any business here. And don't say that I will be rich if people buy a bracelet from me, I'm already rich. <laughs> Just kidding though. <laughs> In fact, that's the ugliest thing to say. You are only showing your true color of envy, and that's a psychic illness without any cure. So be very careful, so you won't become crazy. I have seen people laughing, and criticizing about the Pishu bracelet advertisements. I really feel very sad, because they don't know what they are talking about. Of course these advertisements are ridiculous. If you don't know anything about Feng Shui, and I suppose these ads, are just a dramatization of something that had happened before, that's why the manuscript is the same for different personalities. I don't like those advertisements either. But you see, I am not an actor, nobody is dictating me to do anything. I have my own story to tell. And they are comparing this genuine bracelet to a poor imitation they found in a cheap online store. Then I found out that they use this model photo, and when you click to buy, you'll see a different bracelet. <laughs> That's what I call easily deceived. <laughs> it's okay though, non-believers, just laugh. At the end of the day, I promise you, I will have the best laugh. I know this is true. I am a living proof. I am not a Chinese. In fact, I live in Europe, but I truly believe in its magic. Now, to continue. Five years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. While having treatment, I lost my job, and my own company became dormant. The treatment took more than three years. But I did not complain. I was not even worried, for not having enough money that I wanted to. I survived the illness, I was living on my insurance money in years, but luckily, I have my own house, my own car, and I have everything I need, and during this time, I was able to acquire properties, and slowly but surely, I revived, and expanded my company, and since I started with Feng Shui, it bloomed and I could travel on a 4 to 8 weeks holiday in Asia, twice a year, in the past 4 years. I'm so grateful, first of all, to God of course, but I believe Feng Shui, had a very significant role in my success. I am sharing this not to brag, but instead, so you, believers or not, can also get the same luck as I got. If I have been selfish, and greedy, I should not have told anyone what I did to be successful. I am sharing this because I believe that sharing is caring, the more you share, the more abundance is coming to you. 
You must honestly believe in its power, show your devotion and respect, and then you will get luck. So, if you really believe in Feng Shui and have good experience about it, please share. You will get more blessings, I promise you. In case you don't know, Feng Shui is not a religion. It's a sort of pseudo-science. Feng Shui won't conflict with your religion, since God bestows wisdom and prosperity to those who seek it with good intentions. Feng Shui involves studying the interaction between people and their environments. When a person puts the Feng Shui belief in action, they jump out of their current position and apply methods and tricks that can enable them to reform their environment, including how they interact with aspects such as space and money. The aim of redefining how a person interacts with things such as money, space and others is to become happier, wealthier and satisfied in life. Basically, Feng Shui focuses on how people can strategically influence their interactions with the things that are within their environment in order to achieve specific improvements in life. Now, if you want to learn and are interested in Feng Shui, this is the right place for you. I have videos about how to practice a good Feng Shui here on my channel, just look for the playlist about Feng Shui. Then if you decide to take the next step you can visit our online store to find your favorite Feng Shui cures. You can find a lot more on our website. I also would like to remind you, to beware of others who sell cheap imitations. Our quality is by far the best on the internet. Carefully selected from the best suppliers in China where Feng Shui originated. Before you buy your Feng Shui items, please watch my videos first, especially the Pishu Bracelet playlist. Once you get your favorite Feng Shui cure you must learn to take care of it, then you will get luck and a more positive life. Sometimes you just have to sacrifice something to get more blessings. In this video, I am going to share to you how to choose the best wallet to contain wealth energy. I know this might sound strange or even superficial for the Western viewer to talk about the best Feng Shui wallet colors. Feng Shui of your wallet colors? <laughs> Come on now. Yet, if you just try to look at it from a pure energy perspective, how it feels to you, you will realize the importance of having your wallet in absolutely the best possible shape. Once you understand that everything around you is energy, and I mean understand on a genuine, experiential level, not just pure intellectual one, you might be surprised to discover that your wallet carries you even more than you carry your wallet. It can tell stories about your attitude towards wealth and abundance, your openness to receive, your overall wealth, or abundance consciousness, your self-esteem, and more. I would like to share with you information on the Feng Shui of your wallet because, Feng Shui is such a powerful energy system, that can help remove blockages, and transform stagnant, or negative energy. So, if you are ready to go beyond stereotypes, or pragmatic remarks, I hope you are, otherwise, why would you explore a Feng Shui channel? Then watch on. One of the most notable areas in which the concept of Feng Shui is applied, is in the management of money and wealth in general. Based on the notion of Feng Shui, there are several things that people need to do with regard to their wallets in order to attract wealth. In this regard, the focus of Feng Shui is on how people can manage their wallets, to ensure that the wallets always have more money. In other words, Feng Shui offers guidance on how people can enhance the flow of money into their wallets. If you want to know some Feng Shui wallet tips that you can apply to gain wealth, please continue watching. I will give you the basic Feng Shui info on how to choose the best wallet, a wallet that can help you attract and keep the ever-flowing energy of wealth. Let's start with the understanding that your wallet is the home for your money, if you have applied Feng Shui in your home, you know there are certain principles that just have to be respected, in order to create good Feng Shui. The same basics will apply to your wallet, clutter-free energy, order, and beauty have to be present there for good Feng Shui. 
I am sure you have seen many people whose wallets are bursting at the seams and overflowing with old receipts, photos, and cards that are rarely used. This speaks of poverty, scattered energy, fear, and chaos, the exact opposite of the energy that is open and ready to receive wealth. So, be sure you have a clean and ordered wallet that is refreshed often, meaning keep it clean and fresh. Do not clog it with items you do not need, and be very mindful where you place your wallet overnight. Having your wallet in the same secure, calm, and safe place that can be easily reached is very important. You should be able to find your wallet, if needed, in a nick of time, and you should really enjoy its placement, as well as its look and feel, of course. This brings us to the second point, how to choose the best wallet for yourself. Along with the obvious basics such as having a spacious wallet, meaning choosing a wallet that can easily accommodate your needs, plus have space for more is very important. And having it made from a good quality material. How do you decide on the best color for your wallet? Choose the best Feng Shui energy expressed in colors. Choosing the best colors for anything, from clothing to cars, is a very personal choice, of course, but since we are exploring it all from the Feng Shui perspective, there is something important you need to know. In Feng Shui, color is considered the strongest expression of specific energies, called Feng Shui elements. This is a complex subject, but I will make it easy for you. How do you choose the best energy? You look at the suitability of specific colors as expressions of elements with your own personal element. Yes. You do have a personal Feng Shui element, too. Based on Feng Shui, the color of a wallet really matters, given that different colors represent different elements and meanings. Here are the five most popular colors for a good Feng Shui wallet, along with their energy meaning and suitability according to your personal energy. Red is a very auspicious color considered attracting wealth and abundance. The color of the fire Feng Shui element with its illumination energy, red is often the favorite Feng Shui wallet color choice of many die-hard Feng Shui fans. However, red is a super activating color, so be mindful that it can energize both your positive and negative traits toward money. It is somewhat similar to burning the negative traits in a short and intense amount of time, so trust your better judgment and see if you are ready for a red wallet. Red symbolizes fire and are not recommended as they suggest that the fire will burn wealth. Also note that a red color wallet can be an excellent choice for fire feng shui element people, as well as earth, but a bit too intense for water, wood, and metal element people. Is red color good for you? Find your birth element. If you like this wallet, you can find this in our online store. It is made of genuine leather from Italy. And available in colors red, brown, and black. Deep blue is the color of the water feng shui element that is the ancient symbol of abundance. This makes blue a very good choice for an auspicious Feng Shui wallet. However, be mindful of how it works with your own energy. For example, if your personal energy defined in Feng Shui as your birth element is fire or metal, blue is not the best choice for you. Blue, which is symbolic of water, represents the notion that money can be drained easily and is difficult to accumulate. Therefore, it is recommended that people who want to attract wealth should avoid blue wallets. On the other hand, if your birth feng shui element is wood or water, this can be an awesome choice. Is blue color good for you? Find out your birth element. This wallet is available in blue, green, and red. 
It is made of high quality leather from Italy. Black, which is the most common and fashionable color, symbolizes prosperity and wealth. Thus, for people looking to advance their careers or business fortunes, black is the color to go for. Black is also the color of the water feng shui element, so it is an excellent choice for a wallet color, especially for those with the birth element of wood and water, not so much for fire, metal or earth element people. Is black color good for you? Find your birth element. This is a recommended high quality leather wallet and available in black, coffee, sandstone, and black with red zipper. Also, available in short models. Brown is probably the most popular wallet color after black, as there are so many beautiful leather textures and natural color variations that make this choice very attractive. Representing the earth. Brown is recommended as a color that promotes saving. Thus, people who are eager to save need to try brown wallets. However, brown being an earth feng shui element color, it might not be the best choice for those with a personal birth element or essence of fire or water. Excellent for earth and metal people though. Is brown color good for you? These models are available in different colors. You'll find them in our online store. These are high quality wallets made of genuine leather from Italy. Green, being of the wood feng shui element is an excellent color choice for starting anew, for being ready to start fresh and open, no matter what stories your past holds. It is a great choice for the wood birth element people, as well as for those with the fire birth element. Is green color good for you? Find your birth element. I enclose the guide on the description below. We have high quality leather wallets in our online store, in different colors and sizes, both for men and women. This model is available in colors black, blue, green, gray, and red. Of course, you can find wallets in many more colors than just the five most popular ones I mentioned. From white to silver, gold, and hot pink, as well as a combination of various patterns and textures, there are obviously so many attractive color choices out there. Generally, the deeper the color, the stronger its protective energy which you definitely want for your wallet. So, choosing a red or deep pink wallet, for example, is always a better feng shui choice than choosing a white, tan, or light pink color wallet. Pink is suitable for ladies who are looking for love, but it is not recommended for people who are eager to increase their wealth. Like pink, purple represents love luck. People who are seeking to accumulate wealth are advised to avoid purple wallets. Mustard yellow is recommended for people keen on saving money, while those who wish to increase their wealth need to try pastel yellow. 
However, as with everything, it is a good idea to assimilate the guidelines by experimenting, and see what feels right to you. According to the concept of feng shui, the shape of a wallet or purse, can affect one's ability to attract wealth. It is thus recommended that people should go for purses, or wallets that make it possible to keep currency notes, without having to fold them. By not folding notes, the owner of the purse, or wallet enhances their opportunity to get more wealth. Feng Shui advocates that people should keep their wallets clean, and tidy at all times. The aim of maintaining a clean, and tidy wallet is to remove unnecessary stuff, and create enough room for more money. This point applies not only to the management of money, but also to the management of other resources such as home, and office space. According to the Feng Shui doctrine, the more space there is, the more the opportunity to create more wealth. It is because of this notion that wealthy people prefer large spaces for their homes, and office premises. The aim is to have more space to facilitate exploration, and coming up with new ideas for the generation of more wealth. Therefore, it is important to ensure that a wallet is free of things such as receipts, sweet wrappers, old cards, and other junk materials that are not necessary. In place of these junk materials, the wallet should have more money, since money is an embodiment of wealth. More importantly, the more organized the wallet is, the easier it is to attract more money. It is important for a person to store a wallet properly so that the wallet can serve them well. A wallet needs to be stored in a good place where it can feel treasured. According to this line of thought, once a wallet is appreciated, it will have the tendency to attract more money. Therefore, a wallet should not be tossed around, or kept in any location that is deemed to be inconvenient. Respect your wallet. As a treasured asset, the wallet should not be placed on the floor, particularly a toilet floor. Putting a wallet on the floor is deemed as a way of disrespecting the wallet. Consequently, the wallet will not attract wealth if it is disrespected. Ensure your wallet is new, avoid second-hand wallets or purses. Feng Shui advocates for the use of a new wallet. Second-hand wallets should be avoided since the previous possessor's energy may affect the new owner. Given that, it is not easy for the new owner to know whether the previous owner of a pre-owned wallet had good or bad luck, people are advised to always go for new wallets. Triggering Wealth Luck Since a wallet is where money is kept, it is important to activate luck so as to attract more wealth. According to Feng Shui, luck activation can be done by placing three coins on a red ribbon that is positioned adjacent to where the wallet is kept. Keep the notes in your wallet well organized. It is believed that people who are broke or impecunious always have messy and jumbled wallets. Just as cluttered wallets will not attract wealth, messy and untidy wallets can only make one poorer. Therefore, it is important to organize one's wallet by keeping notes neatly, especially using a purse or wallet that has compartments to make it easy to arrange things nicely. Limit the number of credit cards in your wallet. Credit cards represent debt or money that is borrowed. Therefore, the more credit cards a person has, the more money they are likely to lose than gain. Instead of having more credit cards in the wallet, one should have more currency notes so as to attract more wealth. Upgrade an old wallet. Based on feng shui, a wallet symbolizes a person's worth. A new and wonderful wallet brings that amazing feeling, and a desire to maintain or even exceed the status quo. Therefore, a wallet should always look attractive so that it can attract more wealth. Old wallets should be replaced to preserve one's status symbol. It is important to carry crystals that can help you attract wealth. Feng Shui states that gemstones such as green tourmaline, malachite, calcite, aventurine, viridot, emerald, store a light and jade can help attract fortune. Therefore, it is important to always change these crystals and carry them with an intention of attracting the desired wealth. We have these crystals in our online store. Just search for the name of the crystal on the search box. To sum it up, there are three things that make a good Feng Shui wallet. 1. Order. Carry only what you need and have a clear system. 
Don't put your receipts and other unimportant things in your wallet. They don't belong there. 2. Space. Always leave space for more. 3. Auspicious energy. Choose the best colors and materials and take good care of your wallet. As you may already know, we have different kinds of lucky wallets on our store, made of high quality leather from Italy. We also have the original Feng Shui wallets, with a Chinese dragon symbol. The Chinese dragons are seen as lucky and good. They are symbolic of being lucky, propitious, powerful, and noble. Quite different to the evil monsters, dangerous, fire-breathing dragons as they are portrayed in Western stories. And the fish symbol that symbolizes abundance and never-ending prosperity. We offer engraving on most of our wallet models. Just inform us or write a note on the message box when checking out. It can be your name or any symbol you wish, or even your logo. Just send us your file, and we'll do it for you. And by the way, we also have wallet models with the RFID protection, radio frequency identification. RFID belongs to a group of technologies referred to as automatic identification and data capture. Before I end this video, I just want to remind you once again that we have all the lucky charms and Feng Shui cures to help you attract money and abundance, and even happiness. Please visit our online store. The link is on the description below. Remember, I am here to guide you and share to you the things I know, not just for the money. I'll tell you the right charm to have, even if you want the most expensive one, if I think it is not suitable for you then I'll let you know. I want you to have the right protection, the right charm or amulet that brings you good luck and good fortune. If you buy the wrong one, you are only wasting your money. The only thing I want to know when you seek advice from me is your exact date of birth. Your Gregorian zodiac sign doesn't mean anything in Feng Shui. It is also important to note that planting good thoughts right from the beginning is very important for Feng Shui enhancers and cures to work wonders. Enhancers and cures should be bought with a generous heart. Most who are buying Feng Shui products without genuine intention or generosity will not enjoy the benefits from the items they obtained. If you are stingy or not willing to spend that kind of money, then you should not buy the item. Generosity simply means willingness to obtain the item with your own money happily. Do not be greedy, and never try to obtain a Feng Shui item through unscrupulous means. Such motive is considered a bad sin, which is considered as bad intention right from the start. This simply means programming bad energy into your items. Take note that if you have doubts right from the beginning about an item, meeting your own expectations, then you should not get it from the start. You are the master of your own life, no one is forcing you to buy anything. It is a common practice that the Chinese would normally buy their Feng Shui items with a willing heart, and refrain from doubting, condemning, judging, and challenging if they are well aware about the consequences of backfire. Remember, once you have negative thoughts, you are actually programming negative energies into your items, and they will go against the intended motive. Peace, love, and blessings to all. I wish everybody good luck, good health, and good fortune. May we have more blessings in life. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and share it with your friends. If you want to know more about Feng Shui, please subscribe to my channel and get good Feng Shui in your life. See you on my next video. Goodbye.